Oh, look at there. I didn't die. Winded, but I didn't die. <coughs> We're starting this one right here. I'm already on the spot. Beautiful day here in northern Minnesota. Airplane flying over, awesome. It's almost 50 degrees. Yeah, basketball shorts on underneath the old uh, striker bibs. Today I packed light. Backpack, pistol bit, locator, five gallon bucket. That's it, no need to drag out the portable today. So, you know, I finally found my spot. I'm gonna get down there. We're gonna catch some rock bass. We're gonna be using this Northland eyeball spoon. Pretty cool. I didn't take the treble off this one. I got a little lazy. We're gonna just tip it with some P3 plastics. This is a glow spug. Hey, we're just gonna drop down and we're gonna see if there's any takers at home. Kind of going against my, my grain here by using uh, treble hooks, but tip this little sucker. Kind of let them hang. The rod I'm using isn't your typical 2B rod. No, no, this is a, I dug up a relic. It's a Fraybill Black Ops. Just super fun to fish with and I miss fishing with them. So we're gonna, we're gonna drop down here if I can. Might have to move a little bit. Yep, we're gonna have to move. We're gonna have, I'm gonna have to drill another hole really close by. Absolutely gorgeous out here. I'm gonna drill a few more holes and try to fine tune this. Try to get down a little bit. Got one. Feels like a pretty good one. Just had to move a little bit. Um, a ding. Look at that. Huh? Ha! Ah. Well, there's number one. He ain't very big. Oh, I'll do a quick measurement on him. Got my homemade pan fishing board. Nine and a half. Got a couple more inches to go. But this, I'm confident on this spot. We're in the right depth now. old knees aren't what they used to be. Let's go back down see if we can get a double digit one. Fishing in 21 feet of water. Just gonna chill right about there. About three feet up off bottom. Ooh, there we go. I don't know if he's an upgrade or not, but <laughs> look at that. I don't know what it is about these guys. They're just cool looking fish. They provide action. Pretty good fun. Pull hard. You know, for me, it's just a lot of it has to do with just catching fish. Going out and getting bit. I'm gonna try a little bit higher. See if, uh, how big their, their zone is that they're working. Forgot my sunglasses, so I'm kind of in, uh, kind of 
kind of sucking right now. Oh, we got a fish coming. Here we go. Oh. It's hard to tell how big these dudes are. This one's got some, seems like some sizable tonnage on him. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, now here's what we're talking about. This is what I'm talking, this is what I came out here for. Oh, now this, this is a giant. I need to get some tools out. Look at that dude. <laughs> dude wasn't going, he wasn't going very far. <laughs> oh man, all right, let's get him on the board. My biggest is 12 in an eighth. This dude is all of 11. Okay, yep, we're getting there. He is 11, 11 and a quarter. 11 and a quarter. Ha, I'm gonna get a picture of this guy. 11 and a quarter, going back in the drink. What an awesome fish. Mm. That, it was, that's awesome. That's awesome. Woo-hoo-hoo. -hoo. I like a clean hole, clean hole club. Let's go back down. I wonder if I couldn't get him with a jig. We're gonna try that here in a little bit, but. Hey boy, there's a lot of people out here today and I don't blame them. It is absolutely gorgeous. We got some brapping going on. Oh, here we go. Oh, in and out of the mouth. Come on back, dude. They're even even these big ones, they are they can be very delicate biters. They can also be easily manipulated to come back. And here we go. Go. This one doesn't feels all right. He's not twelve. Uh oh no, a little little fella. All right, cool. Well, we know that this uh, eyeball spoon thing works. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna switch it up. I'm gonna I'm gonna dance a jig down there. Then. Tighten that all the way up. I got some, uh, got some new treats from the old panfish pursuers. It's a hot new color. Well, it looks hot. It looks really actually very natural. It's got a kind of a pinkish UV color to it, but it's a little copod. Or copy as they call. There we go. Kind of a cool little presentation. Now we're going to be running this on another modified Black Ops rod that I I don't even know if they still make these things or not. But put a noodle blank in this one, so we'll be able to detect some some lighter bites. Running three pound test. Oh yeah. Here we go. We're gonna send this one down. I gotta tighten that up just a little bit. Most of the time they're, they're a spoon critter out here. They like the spoons, but once in a while they prefer a little jig. And this is a little, oh yeah, I got a fish on me right away. Could the, the noodle rod be a little too soft for these guys? They liked what they saw. Huh. Well, that's two I've missed. Uh 
I just black backlashed my set up here oh yeah not a big deal quick release on the spool got a little pulling a little too hard so here we go back down there about three foot off the bottom or so Two hooked up there and tough to tell on these noodle rods they they got a lot of a lot of bend in them oh there's a fish on me right now in and out now it's just a now it's a damn challenge he thumped it pretty good Man, I had him going too, dude. Stay pinned, dude. We got one. Got one on the noodle. Feels all right. Oh yeah, it's a good one. Huh. Took a lot of coaxing for you boys. was fun that was a fun on the needle rod get that make sure that's nice and level let's, let's see if we can get another one and then we'll go I'm gonna go back to the spoon cuz I'm looking for a g -g -g giant Come on. You want to go a little higher? We'll go a little higher. Here we go. All right. It's time to go back to the... We're going to go back to the spoon now. That was fun. Who knows? Maybe we'll go back. back to this dude I'm running like three pound braid on here which is very unusual for me but these dudes have a little bit tougher mouth fishing a little bit deeper too wow we gotta crank that back up little commitment there the spoon is much bigger too oh yeah I'll dig this guy out haha -ha! he wasn't worth measuring nine incher got a little bit of a tangle situation going on here what's fishing without being tangled some like the pause some like the movement Feels like a trick there we go styling profiling don't get many days like this in february that's for sure stick around 
one right in that area. Yeah, I took it right away. And God, we gotta look for tanks, man. We gotta find a tanker. I mean, that dude's no slouch. This dude is no slouch. Yeah, he he took her all the way downtown. Man, it's an opportunity and it's super fun, man. I just, you gotta go in reverse, dude. Hey, all right, nailed it. He's got it going on. As I was saying, just, it's for me, it's about taking advantage of opportunities you know, they may not be your favorite. Of course, I have no favorites, so I love them all equally. But this is just a sweet opportunity. I'm not that far from where I live. I could walk out here. It's a beautiful day. And I just wanted to catch fish, you know. So, may not be everybody's favorite, but that's okay. I'm arcing the rod out, having a good time. God, I wish I had some sunglasses. I don't know what I did with them. I'm terrible with those things. I lose them, break them, except for really cheap ones. This is my first. I've had the, the ones I just lost were like eight dollars from a damn gas station, and I've literally had them for years. Oh, barely, barely had it. It's usually a good indication of a better fish. This one does feel a little bit better. Oh yeah, much better fish. Whoa, whoa, dude. Oh. This is a, this is, what I'm, this is what I'm talking about right here. Gonna do a little bit of surgery. Oh, here we go. Now we're cooking. Ford. I don't know. Ah, oh, he's a quarter inch shorter than the last one. Or the other one. But this 11 inch. 11 inch Rocco. Check that out. Man, these dudes are fun. Look at how, look at how thick that dude is. Look at that. <laughs> Let him go. The bigger ones, man, they know what's up. They know what's up. Set going old school today. Doing the old bucket ride. Because why not? We're going to throw one of those on the spoon here. Don't throw your plastics on the ice. It's not cool. Panfish Pursuers P3 Plastics just released a new color. It's a two-tone glow pink and orange. I mean, I, I get these pictures and I'm just blown away. <clears throat> All right. Those guys are always cooking up something in their shop. Always. All right, here we go. Check my drag. Cool, 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 cool. And I've got a customer already interested in the spoon. Bingo. Plus I have braid on here. Oh. Oh. Oh my gosh. Hang tight, fella. Let's get him unhooked. Largemouth style lip this dude. But I can now. Look at that. Board. Let's see, he's a he's thick. Snot bubble right there. 
Eleven, eleven, five. Eleven, five. Look at that, huh? <laughs> Pretty awesome. All right, dude. Back you go. That was awesome. I don't know. That's a bunch of master anglers right now. Cool, I'm tangled again. Awesome. Am I dialed? No. But do I have fun? Yeah. Got another one coming in. There it is. 358. And I got my last one, I think. I'm start my lowly walk back. He's a scrapper. Look at this dude. <laughs> Just a little fella. Should we end him up with a little guy? Okay, this is the last drop. And then I'm gonna pack up, and I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna get a bite to eat. This will be the last fish. I think my bite is over. I had a couple of dudes come in, check things out, and then they decided to Say adios. I spoke too soon. I don't know if I'll get him to go or not. I did. Okay, there it is. Last one. I thought it was over. He doesn't feel like a super giant or anything, but it is a little guy. But he's bigger than the last one. So we will end it on this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you can hear this. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you're new here and you like what's going on, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It's free. It always will be. But you guys have a wonderful day and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. All right. Be good.